Hi, my name's Xteen. I'm a food writer and I post new cooking videos several times a week. Today, I've got these zucchinis that have been in the fridge for longer than I'd like to admit. So we're going to transform them into delicious, moist chocolate chip zucchini muffins. Hello? Oh, I can't talk right now. I'm making zucchini muffins. First, I'm going to measure out 220 grams of all-purpose flour. That's also one and three-fourths cups, but I have my scale right here. Why not use it? Next, I'm adding one teaspoon baking powder, one half teaspoon baking soda, one half teaspoon salt, one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon, and one fourth teaspoon ground nutmeg. Whisk to combine the dry ingredients like we always do at this time. It's time to shred the zucchini. We need 210 grams of shredded zucchini. I'm going to start with one and then we'll see if we need to shred both zucchinis. Very satisfying. Highly recommend shredding a zucchini on a daily basis. 210 grams is roughly one and three fourths cups of shredded zucchini too, by the way. Okay, and that's already more zucchini than we need. So I guess our second zucchini is safe for now. One half cup vegetable oil, hastily poured, one half cup of sugar, one third cup of light brown sugar, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, two tablespoons of milk. I'm using almond milk. And we need two eggs at room temperature, but I forgot to set them out early enough. So while I've been measuring out the other ingredients, I've been keeping the eggs in my little pouch in my apron. Like I'm literally a mother hen. I always crack the eggs into a separate bowl first in case there's something weird with them. I don't totally ruin all the other ingredients that I've already measured out. Whisk until the sugar is no longer clumpy and you've got this delightful golden goo. We're going to mix our wet ingredients together with our zucchini until all the ingredients have really gotten to know one another. And now we're going to pour our wet ingredients into our dry ingredients. And we're going to mix these together to form our batter. Make sure to scrape down the sides. We don't want any flour left behind. And we also don't want any weird floury bits when we bake these. Okay, and unfortunately, you know I had to do it to them. We're adding chocolate chips. I am not going to measure. I prefer to just YOLO the chocolate chips in there. Let's bring back YOLO. Or not. Think about it. Grease your muffin tray or use paper liners. Either way, get your batter in there and fill them up, you know, almost all the way to the top. All right then. We're going to bake these at 425 degrees for five minutes, and then we're going to turn down the heat to 350 degrees and bake for another 15 minutes. Mm, it's not so good. Okay, they're out of the oven. They baked for like 22-ish minutes total. And look at these beauties. My beautiful babies, I love them so much. They're perfect. Highly recommend. The zucchini flavor is so subtle. Don't be scared, you know? You can put vegetables in muffins. And it'll be okay. Yeah, I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. No, I'm filming like right now. Yeah, zucchini muffins. They're gonna be good, I think. I'll see if I have some to share, but I don't know. Okay, okay, bye.